283 DDS here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan, and I don't mean doctor of dental surgery. In fact, we've got the double double slide, which sounds like kind of sounds like some sort of 1980s commercial promotion thing, like do the double double slide. Anyway, um, this is a very late model camper, 2017, if I'm not mistaken. Um, the uh, folks bought it for some family use and Turned out, you know, the uh, grand kiddo type guests they thought were going to come with them didn't really seem to come along. So, they swapped her out for a, uh, a higher end Rockwood Murphy bed ultralight couples camper here at Halet RV. And this one is very accessible with the slide closed and that's what we're looking at right now. I've got the super slide fully closed. You can very easily walk through here, get to the kitchen cabinets, get to the refrigerator, uh, get to all of the storage. Every ounce of storage is accessible and this thing is closed so that you can pack things up. And you obviously have that direct entry bathroom door we're going to learn all about, but even if you didn't use it, you could still walk through here and get to the bathroom. Um, very handy for travel stops or just packing the camper up when it's at home without having a monkey with the slide out. One of the first things I noticed when I got her opened up and I flicked on the light switch is they're using some, some pretty high intensity lights in here. A lot of times campers and what we, you would often refer to as an entry level class right here don't have good lighting. They might have LED lights, but maybe not good ones. And unfortunately it's like, that's one of those things it's, it's easier for you to compare those things at Halo RV because we actually turn the power on and we light things up. Not everybody does, so for you to understand those differences, sometimes it's hard, and a lot of people just go, oh, LED is LED, right? No, not exactly. Um, so, first thing I'm going to hit on in here, other than the fact that it looks brand freaking new, if we were a Catalina dealer, we could put this out in the new lot, and I don't know that you would know the difference. It's that close. No exaggeration. Um, is that it's taller in here. Like, uh, like the Jayco J-Flight, uh, which was one of the very first campers that just said, across the board, we're going to be six foot nine tall instead of six and a half. Catalina said, well, we could do that too. Watch us. So, you know, they're extra tall in here, which I appreciate because it means a taller slide out. It means more bunk room. It means taller cabinets. And they were able to put a shelf in here to double your effective storage space. It also means a taller shower that I really appreciate being a taller fella. Um, there are, uh, this is more than that basic class, but there's a lot of really intelligent smart money features going on. So let's start over here in our super slide. I do like the, the, the color palette here. It's got a very nice light bright and it feels current, but classic at the same time. Maybe I'm being crazy here. I don't know. So that's a jackknife storage sofa. The seat can lift up to get to some storage beneath. Um, you can see that your super slide windows on the side here open for airflow. We've got the larger full-size U-Dinette over here, and uh, this can fold down to not just sleep kids, but even adult guests if you really have to start packing them in here. Now, you do have uh, doors for storage below the bench there to make most of that uh, easier to access. And all of the countertops in here, whether it's the table, uh, the countertop in the kitchen, the bathroom, they're thermal foil. They're a sealed edge pressed membrane material so that if you spill a drink, it can't sink into and penetrate into a tea molded edge. Not that that happens with scary, scary frequency. It's just that it can happen. Now, something over here I like, um, the first time I really saw this feature I'm about to describe was in the Keystone Passports that we carry here at Halet RV. And that's what I call the open air ladder wall, where the ladder itself is the structural uh, wall element holding up uh, the bunks on this end over here. And it makes the whole RV look and feel larger. And the attention to detail here is important. This camper does what it needs to where it needs to. It doesn't overdo anything. So you're not overpaying. It's, it's a good run around family class camper. Um, take, this would be an awesome, like if you're trying to just get out of a no slide camper, or if you got, you know, a, a properly equipped half ton, you're trying to go camping with the family the first time, but the new RV price tags scare you, this is your camper, ladies and gentlemen. But what I was saying, the attention detail here with the windows that'll still open for ventilation in the bunks is something a lot of brands will miss. Um, uh, let me back up a little bit here. On the left, you can see the this huge closet uh, pantry storage array, just all kinds of 
great space in there. And with its centralized location, it works great whether you're trying to use it to help support kitchen use, bathroom linens, uh, extra kids clothes, anything. We do have central air in here. We do have uh, centralized heating in the floor as well. The taller cabinets uh, create the ability for extra storage. We're going to come back and look at the kitchen in a minute. But what I wanted to zoom in on here real quick is once again, that nicer style of countertop. And with both a recessed sink and stove, this thing's actually got some pretty solid prep space going on in here. Um, yeah. <laughs> Look down in the vents. They're shining. It's, it's sad how little this camper was used. That's, that's kind of the story is how little this was used. So extra tall shower, again, being very tall person friendly, and a skylight and shower surround paneling. So this represents, this is the Legacy Series, which represents the little more... Um, feature equipped Catalina as opposed to the SBX, which is their, their simple uh, edition. Um, that's kind of the way that their family works out. I do like all the extra leg room around the toilet here, though. That's well done. Uh, bathroom, the bathroom and the bedroom, well, really the whole camper. It's simple, but simply effective. And like I said, it does what it needs to where it needs to. And by the way, that direct entry door there for the bathroom, it does have a deadbolt so that, uh, you know, this has the exact same locking mechanism as your main door. So you don't have to worry about like privacy problems in here because you can always flip that closed. Um, moving forward right here, uh, the windows have nicer pleated shades on them. I just simply have them all drawn up currently so we can get some extra ambient light and you no know, nice looks and feels in here. The entertainment center, again, simple but effective. Um, you've got your uh, DVD stereo, uh, Bluetooth as well, by the way. And the TV, you can see how it's kind of angled funny right now. I did that on purpose so it'd be out of the way when I walk through, but that is a tilt-out, uh, well, like, uh, articulated um, TV, so it swings out for easy viewing from the slide-out. Uh, not every front-mounted, rear-facing entertainment center will do that. But notice, too, what do we have right here? We have 100% bedroom privacy. You've got one door, one real door that takes you to the bedroom. So there's, it's very much like home that there's a clear definition of, hey, this is where the bedroom starts, and uh, you know this is where the kids stop, get out. Now, um, I mentioned we come back to the storage. Starting with those overhead cabinets, you can see that they are shelved to give you great overhead storage space. And really, there's storage above and below the TV area here in the entertainment center. And you'll see that uh, under the sink, uh, we've got plenty of you know big cabinet space there, as well as um, drawers all the way down to the floor. And the bottom drawer is a little bit bigger, which I think is pretty handy for that extra large like spatula type stuff that doesn't fit in normal drawers. Now... You do have two sink covers. They are flush mount. I simply pulled one out so you could see the size and depth of that sink because they actually put a pretty good sink in here too. Uh, just about done, really. Uh, the bedroom here, again, very simple but very effective. This is not the area where you're going to spend the majority of your time. This is just the area where you camp down at night. They gave you privacy. There are heat and air vents in here, by the way. I did want to make sure I pointed that out. Your big open side stands for your phone chargers and CPAP machines. And full overhead cabinet storage, too, along with those uh, big, like, I don't know, three-quarter wardrobes. And the mirrored doors on that will help reflect some extra light to make this room feel not quite so cramped. You can lift the bed for storage. And I tell you one thing, these folks up here, instead of mounting a TV, they came up with one fantastic idea. Ha! Ah! Other than just a little towing dust that this one picked up on the way here, it's just about as clean as they can come. The roof looks good. It's not old enough to have incurred weather damage, guys, you know. Um, big front pass-through storage compartment, and I like the wider baggage doors on both sides of the coach. So uh, if you got big totes for your sewer stuff, or even just folding chairs or lawn games or something like that for the kids, you've got plenty of room to put those in there. We do have a power awning with lighting, power tongue jack, so setting and breaking camp is about as simple as it comes. The underbelly is enclosed. Now that doesn't mean this is some kind of crazy four seasons thing. And basically, guys, if you're going to be camping when it's sub-freezing, most people are not camping anyway. And if you are, no matter what type of coach you have, you should probably take some supplemental uh, precautions to protect it. The, the nose on this, this is something that uh, they kind of borrowed here, I think, when they saw the success of the Cherokee campers like those that we have here at Halet RV with that extra thick, smooth aluminum painted nose sweep. So uh, it won't uh, be subject to the potential oxidation sun fade issues that uh, like a fiberglass nose possibly could. 
Uh, a quality that's going to be kind of just one of those coachman things that you'll also find on our Apex and Freedom Express coachman ultralights here at Haylitz are these seal gripping leak preventing slide walls. And I love the double wipe seal in conjunction with that to make sure you just don't get water in through those slides. I'm going to make sure my rental guy doesn't run over me here. Um, I do like that like galvanized steel wheel well there just it's that little pop of brightness it really kind of jumps out at me now uh back here below the bunks you do have uh a bit of storage next to that outside utility shower uh they really like i said they're very good about storage of coachman i say that all the time they didn't let anything go to waste roof is fully walkable it's a, a, a 3 8 osb roof deck five inch arch trusses plenty walkable 16 inch on center trusses even though we don't carry these i know how stuff's put together i, I got a pretty good beat on this business by now uh, backup camera ready, whether you want to throw in a backup or an observation camera, kind of handy for um, observation camera you can see behind you in motion, which is neat if some idiot's tailgating you and you can't see. And again, that direct entry bathroom. If you've never camped before, this seems weird and you're like, uh, someone's going to look at me on the potty here. Well, no, they're not really, because again, we have that deadbolt right here. And as I've, if I can find it, there we go. Um, as uh, I've said before, if you've got that dead bolted and somebody can still get in, well, that's a bear and you got bigger problems. You better run. Tires look good. Uh, again, it's not old enough to have dry rot issues or anything like that. Aluminum wheels just sparkling here. I'm not so sure they didn't store this inside. Outside TV hookups as well. Ugh, ran into the slide out of this motorhome next to me like an idiot. Never claimed to be smart, guys. <laughs> I don't think my wife married me because I'm smart and I certainly didn't get to where I am in life by being smart. But enough about me. If you like what you see, give us a ring. Overall, I think she's she's pretty fine. So hitching pieces, parts, trades, financing, truck and trailer, package deals, RV delivery, and everything between. Take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone. Do the double double slide. Do the double double slide. Do the double double slide.